Well, welcome back. You know, the Paycheck Protection Program, as we've reported, has helped an awful lot of small business owners stay afloat during the pandemic. But for some, that aid has now led to a different sort of financial nightmare. Consumer reporter John Monterey has that story. More than 5 million small and independent businesses have stayed alive this year thanks to the Paycheck Protection Program. But one woman has an important warning for anyone receiving aid. Kelly Thomas is a home daycare provider shut down for three months due to the pandemic. She was saved by a paycheck protection loan, but that lifeline has become a nightmare. Um, I was granted the loan, $2,500. But before she could even begin using the funds, she says her bank shut her account down. A few days later, I noticed that there was a freeze on my account. Panicked, she called the bank. They let me know that I needed to open up a business account to receive the funds from this loan. You know, a lot of independent workers and small business owners use just one bank account for everything because it's so much easier. But if you're getting any sort of federal aid, doing that can be very risky. Business Insider says PPP loans must be put into a separate account to prevent payroll errors, accidental misuse, and questions from your bank. That's what happened here, where the bank's investigation locked Kelly from all her money. Are there some bills now that you can't pay this month? My mortgage, um, buying food, paying my credit card bills. A bank spokeswoman tells us we take potential fraud seriously and are diligent stewards of our customers' money. But since there was no fraud in this case, the bank has unlocked Kelly's accounts. Now she's warning others. I've always had my daycare money get direct deposited into my personal account. No one ever said I needed to open up a business account. Business Insider says one more reason to keep the money separate, it'll help you get the loan forgiven. So don't waste your money. I'm John Matteries, Chris 6 News.